Local schools are taking action on the fentanyl epidemic as the deadly drug continues to circulate in Riverside County. Riverside County reports 214 fentanyl-related deaths in 2022 so far. The drug comes in several forms and can be found in any illicit drug. And brightly colored pills are being marketed now to be more appealing for kids. As News Channel 3's Samantha Lamibau explains, the Desert Sands Unified School District is urging parents to stay vigilant. It's a very scary time, and I think we need to educate ourselves. Mother of two, Christine Hindshort, tells me her son is a student at La Quinta High School. With fentanyl circulating through campuses, she believes now is the best time to let kids know about how dangerous it really is. Makes me very nervous. Um, I do not uh, like the idea that uh, our kids get advertised to take drugs on social media. That is so easy available. Seeing someone dying is not a pleasant sight. Jennifer Loza knows firsthand how much fentanyl can impact lives. Stephen, uh, He's my baby. He was he had just graduated from high school. Um, he was poisoned by fentanyl, and the people with him left him there to die and did nothing to try to save him. As the founder of Ronnie's House for Hope, she wants to spread awareness so no parent, child, or family has to go through what she did. Doing what I can to save lives and being able to share Stephen, it allows me to keep him with me, and he walks alongside me through this journey. Loza urges everyone to have Narcan to be prepared in the case of an overdose and emphasizes that with fentanyl, even one pill can kill. Two milligrams, so equivalent to two grains of salt is all is that's needed. I think Narcan is extremely important. It, it, there are no negative side effects and it can literally save a life. She hopes that by sharing her experience, parents can be a step ahead in protecting their kids from an overdose or even death. To help our children recognize what drugs can do today. I hope some more parents get involved so more people and for on our children we can save. In La Quinta, Samantha Mebao, News Channel 3. The school district will be holding another parent workshop on the dangers of fentanyl at 5.30 Wednesday night at Indio High School.